Kirby came to us in 1992 and how far this pink puffball has come in this time. Starring as the main character in a very large amount of Nintendo games as well as many appearances in other video games. But today I'm not here to dive into the history of Kirby games or even review this game. I am simply here to tell you some things I think you need to know before you buy Kirby Star Allies on the Nintendo Switch. Guys, I'm Riff. Can you help me out by hitting the like button? It would make my week. So let's start. Kirby Star Allies is a great game, but it's not excellent. And many of you have asked, well, should I buy the game? And let me get straight to my personal answer. First, here's why you should buy the game. It is a great co-op experience. There's so much going on on the screen that communicating exactly what to do with each one of your friends is hilarious. Oh, oh it's a, a big one. Oh, oh, let me hit against the guy. Please don't take him. My, Mikey! Please don't take him. My, Mikey! Oh my gosh. There are so many different powers and abilities that need to sync up in unison in order to progress through a stage that having more mayhem on screen really works in favor of enjoyment when having your friends around. And here's reason number two why you should buy the game. If you have kids. Let me say my kids don't just like this game. My six-year-old and my seven-year-old, well, they love this. The game is easy enough to get through even with all the powers and abilities that need to work together. The game is great to look at with tons of colors and an overload of adorable characters to keep them pleased. Reason number three. If you enjoy Kirby games, the game is a run-of-the-mill Kirby game with some new unique features and if you love the Kirby experience or the Kirby franchise, you will really enjoy your time here with Kirby Star Allies. And moving forward, here are a couple of reasons why you should not get Kirby Star Allies. If you really expected some sort of Mario Odyssey or Breath of the Wild jaw-dropping type of experience, and what I mean by that is if you expected something that will change the way you look at games or make you cry or blow your mind in some way. Like I said, the game is great and it's fun, but it won't blow your mind. Reason number two, if you expected to be blown away visually. Like I said, the game is colorful and fun to look at, but really, even with all that, I wasn't super stoked on the graphics at all. Now I don't need HD realism at all, but the game definitely could have used more polish. Even a game like Kirby's Epic Yarn, which came out on the Wii and was not an HD game, was much more visually pleasing to look at, in my personal opinion. So all in all, am I happy with Kirby Star Outlies? Do I personally enjoy the game? Well, yeah. I really enjoy it. I am really loving the experiences I'm having playing the game with my friends and having a blast diving into the game with my kids as well. I notice myself smiling while playing this game and in my opinion, that's a win for me. And after all, if I can find myself having a fun time and simply step back and know that I'm enjoying a game, I can call it a good game. That's it from us here at Superhero Game Squad. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good day.